Giovanni Pena, a veteran on the Bronx Buccaneers team, is going on right now in the background, still tied game 0-0. So I have a few questions to ask you since you've been with the, the team for three years. It's a couple championship games, so I was super about your experience. What are you looking forward to? So, first question, you've been to two championship games, right? Yes. With Giovanni. What was that experience like? You've been to two game, two championship games and both of them featuring the Bucks and the Jets. Big rivalry. How is the is it nerve wracking for your son to be on such a big level? Yes, actually it is. It's better for him as long as I see him happy and as far as the team is having a great time, I'm with it. I love him to be in the team. It keeps him busy and. I like him to be active. It's better to be doing something productive than being in the streets. So anything to keep him busy, I'm with it. Trouble. And he loves football, so he college playing football, even bigger, even bigger thing for him. I think football actually made him think about more about college. He wants to go to now. He's constantly thinking about college. Before he wasn't. It was once in a while. Oh, yeah, I would like to, but now he's 
that he's determined to go. Hey PFO, my name is Dave Hernandez. I'm still here at halftime right now at the Jets Buck game. Today I'm here with some veterans from the Bronx Buccaneers. They not playing right now, they going on to play college, semi-pro and all that. But they all veterans, they want championships. I like to introduce myself. Starting with Sean Casimir. We got Sean Cash, number 33. We got KD the God, number 90. Lil Russ, number 22. Dizzy, number 18. Malachi Smith, number 8. So I got many men here who fought hard and long for the Bronx Buccaneers. So I'm first out of you. You have a very interesting backstory here, <laughs> as we can call it. So, he's Don't right do what this guy do. He's been part years. of the box, a very big rivalry, but he played actually both sides. He won a championship with the Buccaneers one year and the Jets. I want you to explain uh, how was that experience like playing for the Bucks when you checked the play the Jets? It was a great experience I actually playing for two great organizations in the PFL. 2013, I'm sorry, 2013 won the chip with the um, Jets, 2014 won the chip with the Bucks. My first Same loss outcome. was a fluke. The first one was Same a fluke. Same outcome as you know, the Jets and the Bucks. Now I'm going to move on to Sean Cass over here. Who has been a Buccaneer for a while? Uh, for a couple championship games, that's great. But now he's still coming out here to the Buck games, but right now he also plays for Bronx Coast. How's that been, Sean? Um, it's different, I can tell you that. The game is faster, the day is way bigger. It's a, it's a better game, it's a better feeling, to be honest. Learning new things. Hey, that's about it. Look like two years, man. Right. Two years, man. Right. Two years, man. 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 Two Hey, yo, my name is Country. Yo, my name is Country. Louis Tobin, a.k.a. Brooklyn. Before George, a.k.a. Speedy. So I'm going to let you guys each, I'm going to ask a question, I'm going to let you guys each and let you know what I need So, first off, you guys, I'm going to do a couple scrimmages. Y'all in the league right now. So, if y'all don't know, y'all in the power ring, or number four, I believe, in the power ring. The eight and four out of three. I'm oh, sorry, three out of eight. So, how did that got you feeling right now? Three out of eight right now. You got us hype. Yeah, I feel like we could do we could do better. We're trying to be right now. The Wolfpack is trying to be ready. Right we're not we're not sleeping on nobody. Yeah. Hey PFO, my name is Dave Hernandez. Welcome to PFO Sports Center. Still out here, Harlem, 128th Street. Big rivalry game still going on. Bucks, Jets. Today I'm here with two Kennedy players. Uh, you guys can introduce yourself if you want. My name is Ramir. My name is Ramir, Sean Safety, number 18. Ramir? My name is Isaiah. Little linebacker. He's been, he's been both played for the varsity team of Kennedy High School. And they also, if you don't know, played for the 14 U long time back for the Bronx Colts. So I'm asking you guys to talk about your experience back then, how it helped you now with your experience down Kennedy. So first of all, all the way back to 14 U. First day you guys coming to the Bronx Colts back, how was that? Let's try and remember that. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. We were out there just hanging out. Doing, doing yeah. full work drills, getting our full work up there for high school. For the level that we at, for the level that we have right now, it's getting yeah, us prepared. Yeah. So, you guys now play Car Kennedy Varsity. It's a big thing. You play for Varsity yeah. under, the, under the Friday Night Lights like you here right now. Um, how is playing back then at Fort Street Coast prepared you now for playing at the high school level, the bigger level than at Fort Street Coast? Everything's much serious now. Everything's faster. Yeah, way faster. Yeah. I just talking about the game after that. Yeah, after that. Touchdown, Jets. How does that even happen? Yeah! 
Well, no, how, how, how's a 46? Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Oh, when? We got in. Oh, we got in. Going for the two point conversion, 20 to 18, third overtime. Incomplete. And that'll do it. Jets win. What a game. What a game. What's up, man? What's your name? Elijah. Elijah, how you doing, sir? Uh, what, what's going on here, man? I'm a fraction of football. I see. How'd you do that? Uh, well, I was playing football in Ohio. A person fell on me. Oh, must have been a big, pretty big person. All right. So the PFL question of the week, we're talking about swag. For the old people like myself, what is swag and which team in the Pioneer Football League has the most swag? Us. <laughs> the Harlem Jets. Do you have any evidence to back that up? What about the Jets? The jerseys are better. We're better. The talent's better. I see. And what is swag? Can you define it for me? Like if an old person was like, I don't know what you're talking about. What, is, what does that mean? Um, like looks, stuff like that. Tell me. Which team in Pioneer history has the most sweat? The Harlem Jets. Washington. So there's been a lot of history in the Pioneer League. You gotta give Yo, me some evidence. Coach Who's Burke. a close second? Give me, Coach give me. Burke. Close give second? Uh, I don't really look out for seconds. I'm all about first. So. What's going on, big fella? Quick question for you. Good question for you, okay? Uh, huh, you know what the word swag is? It means like you got like, it's like a cool and you got like that swaggy swag. I see. Which team in the PFL has the most swag? You mean like right here? Yeah, man. Harlem Jets, of course. Harlem Jets, of course. What about the Jets has swag? Everything. Turn it up! Some good. My name is Daniel Hernandez. You already know me. I come up when a truck comes up. You know me. From the Bronx Buccaneers. You know me, son. And who are you? Sajay Montgomery, New York Patriots, Bronx Colts, John F. Kennedy High School. Woo! Very nice, very nice. Here at the Pioneer Football League is our sense of style. So this week's question is who in the PFL has the most swag? Now, I know you're going to say Buccaneers because you're a Buck, right? Yeah. So give me your top five. Um, I would say Buccaneers. Maybe the Jets, the Steelers, Spartans, and maybe the Vikings. I see. Oh, yeah. The Vikings got that purple swag, man. So give me, give me, give me top five specific uniforms with swag. So don't just say Harlem Jets. Give me the Jets whites, or you can give me the I Jets, Jets PFL joints. Yeah, you can't go wrong with an all white uniform. Mm -hmm. He's not wrong with an all white uniform with a shiny helmet. Um, <laughs> That wolf pack, the wolf pack, they, they got they got that nice color uni. That. They came out for Swag yeah, Friday, I yes. That, I seen it. Um, Friday night swag, yeah, that's what that's what that was. Last all them Jets, ATU again with the, the coming on all black at home. I, I respect it. Oh, that, the black out, the black green. I, I oh, like they they get two spots on your top five. That's awesome. Okay, all right, talk to me. That's who that. So who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, I'm excited to see what the, the Bronx Steelers got. Oh, yeah, the Dell I, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it yet. I'm excited to see what they have. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. I, I don't coach them that much at practice. Get him, get him, get him. See, man, we in it. We in it, baby. We in it. We got the vibe. Let's go,
Good job. Go, go. There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice catch. Good tack. Woo! He caught it. Both y'all get that thing done, man. And we'll settle it for real at the championship. I like that one. My man. <laughs> Now hype, hype as ever. Let's go for them. So now Elizabeth City State University coming out now here against Fordham. It's a road game, but they still have high chances here, high hopes. And here they come now. Hey PFO, my name is Dee Renee. Yes, today I'm here at Fordham University for our PFO. Have time to stand here with me, Father Mr. Norman Cherry of an Elizabeth City State University player who's a senior as well. So I have to ask you a few questions about your son's experience, how your experience, and how your experience is here in New York so far for North Carolina. No problem. So, first question is Elizabeth State, Elizabeth City, Elizabeth City State University is in North Carolina, if you didn't know. So, how's your experience been in New York so far? I'm getting accustomed to the traffic. It's, uh, it's a big difference in the country where we're from, uh, but we, we love it. Uh, the, the travel, uh, good hospitality. So as soon as we hit the gate here, uh, fans have met us uh, from the opposing team. We've had a great time since we've been here. Uh, but the main thing wasn't about the football. We wanted the educational piece for my son first. Big part of academics. Boy, plays a big part of football. Every single day, academics does matter. So you told me you're also your son started playing football at five years old. So how do you think him starting young helped him now and gave him maybe a little bit more of an advantage here on the pro division one level in college? Well, what I like to say is it's, it's all about heart, um, what you want to do. Uh, I see a lot of parents who push their children and think they really don't want to do. But, you know, I played and he really loved the sport. Been playing since five, kind of monitoring, playing. Um, keep him active, you know, keep the grades up, went to a lot of camps. Uh, we've been to Oklahoma, University of Oklahoma, to a football camp. So it's all about the involvement. And uh, before you know it, you're senior in college. Every time somebody asks you, okay? Every time somebody asks you, okay? Well, I come to you. Since you play. Is it going? Good. How you doing? He coaches the defense. He plays. He, he coaches the line. Yeah. Hey, is that a school that you might want to entertain? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Might. Might. Okay. If you don't want to go to Ohio, Florida. Hey, PFL fan. My name is Dave Hernandez. Today I'm still here at Fordham University. And I'm here with a person who's playing today at halftime with the Bronx Steelers. Uh, introduce yourself. My name is Corey. I play for the Bronx Steelers. So I have a few questions for you about your experience so far being in the PFL. You know, this is your second year. And what is your experience that have been so far here at Florida University? So the first question is, uh, you've been playing for two years. How's your experience been playing for the Bronx and in the league of the PFL? Very good. Very good. So next, uh, you have to, what are you feeling right now that you get a chance to play at halftime of a Division One college football game in front of maybe a couple thousand people? I feel awesome at the same time. Very good. What am I, a little bit nervous? Yeah. Hey guys, we seen see Fordham over here. They're about to have a great game. It's me, Jose de Jesus. I call me Jose. I play for the Bronx Steelers. We have a great team here about to play against North Carolina. And we got to represent the Bronx.
Rocket Am here at Fordham University. The game is going on right now. We have our team in stage right now. White beans and Steelers, but so far the game's been good. Open the kickoff just happened, so we have a lot more coverage here. Half time in the team, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, is he, I'm here at Fordham University with a girl. My name is Jose. And what's your name? Justin. 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 Um, what? Why do you play? Football? Make a right in the last section, section 15. Captain Andrew Ali. Today we have four teams on the field for a special halftime game. Please welcome the Harlem Jets, who play out of Harlem River Park. They've produced many players playing in FBS, FCS, and NCAA Division II football. Now let's welcome the Bronx Steelers, a charter member of the Pioneer League, headquartered nearby at Quarry Field on 181st Street. The Steelers program in the Tri-State Conference with a ton of team spirit and a coaching staff dedicated to helping children. The Vikings are learning football while having fun. Finally, the Bronx Bills. A first year program and the newest member of the multiple times a year. Now the Bronx. The Bills hand the ball to number eight. Number eight takes off down the left side. Take it down, tackle. And off the ball again. 42. Automatically take it down. Hand the ball to number eight again to the left. Oh, miss tackle. Going straight up. Finally taken down. And the ball, 42. Out of the right side. Ball snapped. Thrown over the top and complete. Oh, fake. Throwing the ball. And off number 11 on the right, going up, breaks a couple tackles, and finally dragged down around the... Come on! Listen, you got five seconds. The Orange Health System, the official hospital. Snap, snap, 21. 21. Running. Stuff, stuff. Get the defense together. Of our student athletes. Running out to the right. Breaks free. Oh, another high snap. Running out to the left. Oh, and one little thing in and then I'm going to Hi, my name is Darren Nandez. Welcome to PFL Sports Center. Today I'm doing my conclusion of week one in the Fordham. Right now, Fordham, the game's still going on. 55-14. The Fordham had a successful day today. But also, our boys also had a successful day here. The Vikings, the Bronx Bills, the Harlem Jets, and the Bronx Steelers all had a good time. Saquon Hill's pass complete to number 81, Saquon Holder. So then also, uh, week one, I've, I've been to some... A gain of six games. yards. So today we also had... a. Uh, the Harlem Jets and the Bronx Buccaneers, 12 u 10 u There's a game to be going on later on today and even tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Daquan Neal, the ball carrier. 